looking back over the years, as I never really realized that I was using the flower form so often. But uh, some of it, what we talked before about growing up, is my grandmother had a flower garden, and neighbors had flower gardens back in the 50s and 40s and 50s. And so it was part of my life, as well as I went with my great aunt, Mary, and, and we picked wildflowers for my other aunt to paint. So the flowers were imprinted a lot earlier than I imagined. But also, um, Mother Nature created flowers because they're beautiful. And the beauty is, um, is in their blossoms and, and it also it, it, it attracts the birds and the bees, so to speak. And because of the birds and the bees, it recreates new life. And because of the seeds and pollen and all that kind of thing. And so it's Mother Nature's way of enticing the world to recreate itself. And also in the process, she created the feminine woman who is the, the beautiful flower as well as the only thing in the world that can create new life. And so those combination of those, I sort of used a flower form in all kinds of ways just, just because it suggests subtly, you know, unconsciously beauty. And so I made a little flower table. And um, so this. Would you sketch out the table first and then make it? Some I might sketch, but not totally. And, and you think, well, the, a flower table is a good, so I might make five other ones that have no sketches. And you think, well, I should make it one a little taller, or I could put a flower on the seat of a bench, or I could blankety blank do other kinds of things, or make this thing bigger or smaller. And this one has a center on it, and some of them I make that you can put a plate on it that doesn't have the center in it. This one you can put glasses around it of that nature. And um, so over here was this white piece is um, sort of. The symbolically, the, the, what I've been talking about, and, and if you believe the story I'm telling you, you can sign the piece, and it's going to have a lot of sign. It does have some signatures, but you could sign your name on it to support the idea, you know. And um, so it's hard to find anybody who doesn't like a flower, you know, that kind of thing.